One of the biggest launches for the whole year is coming up soon. The Europa Clipper is actually going to launch from right here at Kennedy Space Center in Florida to uh, Jupiter. And the destination, while it may be Jupiter, it's actually one of the 95 moons of Jupiter, Europa. And scientists have long been intrigued with Europa. Even though it has an icy shell, an icy crust, it's believed that there could be a vast global ocean under this ice. And where there's water, NASA says, perhaps there could be life. This is the first uh, mission ever devoted to Europa. There have been spacecraft that have gotten up close and personal with Jupiter before, flybys, if you will, other missions. But really, the, the emphasis, the focus here is Europa. And in fact, they see Europa is, is quite possibly the best bet for life outside our planet if it's there. And so that's why they want to go to Europa. Now, the Clipper, um, which by the way is a huge spacecraft, um, it needs gigantic solar wings because it's so far from the sun and you need a lot of power. And when the wings are unfurled, it's uh, longer than a basketball court. So this giant spacecraft uh, one of the biggest ever built for interplanetary studies is going to be going orbiting Jupiter. But every time it orbits Jupiter, it's going to get really close to Europa. And in fact, 49 close flybys are planned of Europa. So it's going to take almost six years until 2030 for Europa Clipper to reach Jupiter. And that's going to be almost 2 billion miles of travel by the time it gets there. NASA says every time they're talking to, to people, this is not a life detection mission. Europa Clipper is not going to go up there and look for life per se. It's going up there to see if the conditions could be right to support life. 